Well, uh, I think that the odds are that we will see a repetition of what happened in 1975. I think that it is likely that the changes that David Cameron secures will be inconsequential, of no significance at all. He will present them as a major change, and I don't think there will be a two-to-one majority in favour. I don't think it will be as big as that, but the likelihood is, given the authority that he has, and given the lack of a credible uh, opposition leader, uh, I think that uh, it will probably be the same result and then the British people will come to regret it. The British people will come to regret staying in? Or yes, they will yes come I to think they'll come to regret staying in because they will discover that there hasn't been any fundamental change and that there is a real problem. A real problem because it has changed since 1975 in a fundamental way. Uh, it has changed because of the coming of the single currency, the euro, and the creation of the eurozone. You say what David Cameron is looking for in his renegotiation is trivial. He's not expecting. No, he's to get looking anything. for he's looking for more than that. But what he will secure will be trivial. I know the European Union very well. I mean, as a minister, I went to all these European conferences and I made friends with all these European ministers. I know them very well and I like them. They're not going to give him anything significant. 